Uh, if you don't have uh, a brown color, just mix with uh, the three primary colors together. So. Even you have a big brush, you don't have to use all the whole brush. Just use the corner of the brush. I'm gonna introduce some some blue colors into this area. It has a little bit too much. Watch my brush. Just make a little less blue, but there's some blue color mix you could mix with some uh, the burnt umber colors uh, for the bottom over here, close to the area, it's close to the dark nose. And then I use this color for the shadow. Soften this area. I want to use clean water. Soften the bottom over here so you have a little vignette effect. And I'm going to soften the top of the head over here. I don't want to have so much uh, defined edge. I'm also going to soften uh, the side of the ear and also going to uh, make the ear area a little softer. Why? Because I'm going to prepare that for the background. I want the ear between the ear and the background have a very soft definitions. So I'm gonna leave the paper a little wet, as well as just the the edge of the dots. And at this point, I'm gonna do a little retouching uh, since they're wet. I'm gonna take out some of the colors. We'll make it a little lighter. I can take out the color here to make some color a little bit lighter. If you don't have enough wet on the paper, you cannot use this technique. Just don't be afraid to use water. Water is a friend. Okay. And the top over here too, I'm gonna make sure that have a little soft transitions and uh, including uh, the light side of the nose. I'm gonna prepare that a little bit lighter. And here also have a little lighter. So I'm gonna take out some lighter value uh, on the ear in this area. And then the ear we're gonna have to introduce a couple more layers, come up more rounds before the ear is finished. Uh, now I'm going to start working into the background. So what the background is going to do, the background is going to make the dark looks pop up uh, more as just the dominant objects. And uh, I'm going to do now is a little bit probably too wet. So I'm going to have a little napkin over here to take out some of the wetness. But I don't want to make it too dry. So I'm ready now. I'm gonna mix the the blue colors with the red. And that should be the key color. It looks like a, a purplish colors uh, for the background here. And I'm 
I'm gonna mix it a little bit green colors, but introduce a little bit yellow color. I'm gonna touch it coming down from here. Another green color over there too. I'm going to introduce the warm color in the background somewhere here too. Um, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something down here uh, that could be of the lighter blue colors. I'm going to have this continue. around here and that's good because down here the color put it drive I believe it's already all drive still have a little wetness it's okay I'm gonna soften the background here at the bottom. Okay. Now I'm gonna come back to the dark to fix the edge. I'm gonna get the uh, sable round brush. I'm gonna start taking out some colors. Obviously, this is still that was too wet when I do that background. This is okay. Be patient. I'm gonna take out some of the color. Some people like to use tissues to suck up the colors, but I like to use my brush. I feel more control with the brush better. And here too. Okay. That's good. I even take out a little more color, push the border outward. Okay, now I'm gonna come in to this side, take out the color I'm gonna top, at the top. Lots of people say that, hey, watercolor, after you put the color on the paper, you cannot take it out. Impossible. Now you can see, everything is possible. If you use the, the right technique, everything is good. I kind of want the background to a little more, um, have a little changes. Right now, the way it is, it looks too, uh, too a little bit plain. And so I'm gonna, I like to do this a lot. Let's try it. And let's have something going on uh, in the background. And I'm gonna continue and cleaning clean up the 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 edge and watercolor you have to let it go and let it let it change and then you would you would see at the end uh what it's going to become and then 
and then uh, you would figure that out uh, using what kind of technique you're going to use to uh, to finish the rest of the painting process. Okay, I think this is pretty good now. The edge. I'm going to push that out a little even more. That's good. That's cool. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do something inside the dock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little kind of gray colors painting around the dog's eye. Little kind of purple colors inside here. I've been painting inside, but I'm gonna leave the highlight uh, inside the dog's pupil. Area. Okay. That's good. I'm going to have this a little lighter, so I'll take out some color here, make it a bit lighter, good. On this side, have it graduate, change. I'm going to now go into a little bit of brown color, second round of brown color. This time, I'm going to add a little definitions to above uh, the eye stock, the dark side. And now I come down here, have a little bit red into the brown. And use the water to soften it. Okay, now this is the new definitions. Some detail we just add to. The dark, and I'm going to do the same thing, kind of little uh, purple, light purple colors. I put it on this side. Okay, make a little lighter. Good. Now I'm going to move away from that. I'm going to start walking into the ear. That's the shadow. And I have a little more blue in here. And okay. I'm going into the dog's body, the neck area. And then on the body, I'm going to use uh, the big flat brush to do the bigger color wash. Okay, here. Yeah. And yeah, another darker brown colors. A little red and the blue colors. That is the color I want. So I'm gonna have that color come in here. And on the other side, just the, the brown colors and soften it on the other side. Don't be afraid of the of the water and use it for your advantage. With the wet in wet you can control 
uh, the overall effect, the overall compositions, the overall uh, contrast between uh, soft and, and tight, and control the directions. Okay, this is good for this point over here. I'll come back to do a little bit more to the ear uh, a little bit later. So I'm gonna test it. That audio drive, so I'm gonna start working the nose. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do with the nose. And the highlight of the nose, I'm gonna using lifting off uh, technique to take the highlight because it looks very soft. So our uh, first, I'm gonna make a little purplish colors. This kind of colors, yeah, the purplish color. For the middle of the dark nose. I think I need to have a little bit more red to make it look more purple. Okay. And on the other side, and could have a little bit more blue. And I'm going to stop here on the nose. Okay, on this side, it's, it's still soft. If I keep going under that, it's going to make uh, the shape broken. So I'm going to continue on this side instead of the right side. So I'm going to use more water to lead the color gradually turn into be lighter. Okay. And also I'm going to start doing some lifting up on the nose tips here, taking that color away and create a feel of the highlight, just using the tip. Use this effect compared to if you leave the area just white, uh, this technique can make it look much softer. Make the highlight look softer. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. The background, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need another wash, another round of wash later. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now. Uh, what I might going to do, the eye is almost dry. So I'm going to start touching into the eye uh, with under the rung and then come into the ear shadow. So with the eye, I'm going to mix a little with the blue and red, mix into a little purple color. Purple color is a substitute color for black we don't use black and uh, in fact most of the time you thought it's black but actually it's not it's just a dark color and the purple colors the dark purple color looks very close to uh, the color that you try to you try to get okay I'm gonna go into here This time I'm only gonna do the do the dark. I'm gonna leave that a little white, a little lighter for now, because I don't want to make it looks all together yet. I'm gonna come to this side. Watch out for the. Uh, for the highlight inside the, uh, the, the eyes, the dog's eye, 
It's not actually white. It have kind of blue colors. I will fill in that blue color later. Not now. I'm gonna have a little light brown colors. I'm just gonna put it into here. Yeah. I don't want to break that shape, so I'm gonna stop it here. I don't want to keep going. Okay. Now I come back here. This looks like a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna start taking out some colors. That's good. Make it a little lighter. A little clean up now. And now I test the outside. It's almost dry. It's like 80-90%. So I may not be I may not ready to do the outside. So I'm going to just gonna come back to do a little more into the ear. Come back to the ear over here. And I'm gonna overlay a wash on the ear over here to show it. This is the shape of the ear. Okay, that's good. The shape of the ear. I would make a little definition here, probably using lifting off to return this area much lighter so that I can uh, suggest uh, the, the shape of the ear as another step I can do later. And now, probably the time. Now, I'm gonna do a little more to the, to the neck here. Good. Some definition here, good. And I put a little more texture to the body. Now I'm gonna go back to the background. What I'm gonna do now, and I'm not gonna do too much to the background. The background is pretty good now. It have a good contrast. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little deeper colors in the back. Doesn't need to be too dark. You know, translucent watercolors uh, can, uh, can overlay, wash, uh, accumulate, thicker and thicker or be different deeper colors and it goes so I don't have to do it at one layer it's very dark and consider the colors already on the paper it will be part of the the look of the overall colors in the area okay that is What I'm gonna try to what I'm trying to do is create some suggestions for the viewer to use the imagination to figure that out what may be in the background. So I'm not trying to tell the whole story. So I might keep it like a little blocky. Like 
like that. Maybe the back over here too. I'm gonna keep a little coat. Yeah, like that. With suggestions, that's all we need. Make this a little softer transition. Okay, this is the beginning of this whole painting process. Now, so everything in the in the shape, uh, it has light color, it has dark color, it has the background, it has soft areas, and the technique we use is going to be our continual using and creating more and more definitions, and also using lifting off technique to return some area to be lighter.